my, my hockey fandom comes from a number of things. Part of it right now is, uh, if you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see NHL 16. Nashville's the team. I just did a fantasy draft this morning. I'm not playing it, I'm just watching it just to see if they play well. I've got a... <clears throat> I was going to just, just draft... I, I went back to the, the default rosters on the game. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to draft all the old guys. Nah, I got Johnny Boychuk, I got Tori Krug, I got Chris Tanev, I got Cart Carey Price in that. So uh, it's a bunch of veterans up front, except Connor McDavid. And uh, I just couldn't resist. Uh, this this is part of what makes me a hockey fan. Um, when I was a little kid, I wasn't really interested in hockey until I was about seven. And that first Ivan Boldarev card, that first card I got from a, uh, a convenience store up at the end of up at the end of the road, um, that was the seventy nine eighty cards. That wasn't Gretzky's rookie year. That was the year after. So I did not collect cards Gretzky's rookie year. I don't have any. Oh my God, I miss Gretzky's rookie year. I trashed it. I don't have that regret. That's a regret other people have. But the question of does this qualify as hockey? To me, it does. Hockey cards qualify as hockey, especially now that the only collectors left are people who, well, in terms of collecting, there's a very small percentage left of us. We are the proud and the few. We are those who actually still collect hockey cards. And I enjoy collecting them. I enjoy finding them for cheap. Like this, for instance, it says... Uh, do not sell as... <laughs> do not sell as full box. Right here. <laughs> and that's that's not a sticker. That's right on the box. Buck 99 a pack. Do not sell as full box. Um, I got the box for 20 bucks. Uh, buck 99 a pack means it should have cost me 72. I was the only bidder. And I said at the time, if anybody else bids, I'll let them have it. I'm not I'm not going to get into a bidding war for box hockey cards. I'll bid once, and then that's it. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do a video where I open hockey cards, and I fanboy out. Because if I wasn't still a fanboy at heart, why have a channel about hockey? It's an honest question. If I'm not truly a huge hockey fan... And, and not just Canucks or just, just Bruins or just Dallas. If I'm just a hockey fan at heart, why bother? Okay, there's eight cards per pack. That should make for some interesting. Pulls out of this box. This is 13-14. The box I got last week was 12-13. Oh, bloody Oilers scored. If I could do a split screen and have on one side... My, my hockey game so you could watch Broad Jack scored for Edmonton. And the other side's me opening cards. <clears throat> okay, I got Patrick Weirkoch, Michael Delzato, Max Lapierre, who has a tryout with the Rangers. I don't think he's going to make it. Adam Burrish, who's out of the league. Nazem Kadri, Christopher Stieg, who's out of the league. Jakob Voracek, and then a marquee rookie, Jean-Gabriel Pajot. So... Didn't make a lot of money on that pack. The other half of my TV screen is populated with two broke girls. I am trying to watch that show, but if you'll notice, I've got the sound turned off and I don't care. Because Two Broke Girls is one of the worst shows on television. The only selling point for Two Broke Girls is the girls. Not the acting. Daniel Winnick, Pavel Datsuk, uh, Eric Brewer, David Descharnay, Pascal Dupuis, Dupuis, Matt Hendricks, Brad Stewart, and then I got a retro Ryan Callahan. Oh, goody. And then whatever the hell this is. What the hell is this? Is this supposed to be anything? Or it's just a... Just at the back of the pack, just is that just to preserve the Callahan? Because I'm telling you, if you're going to protect a player, don't protect Callahan. Just let him 
deal with himself. That's weird because this one doesn't have that at the back. And that's a throwback too. Oh good, it's one of my favorite players. Okay, uh, Josh Georges. Uh, Jerome McGinley with the Penguins. Andrew Shaw. Keith Yandel. Nikita Nikitin. Ryan Miller. BJ Crombie. And the throwback is Sammy Salo wearing a Tampa jersey. Never should have left Vancouver. He never should have left Vancouver. He's one of those guys that towards the end of his career you just you give him that final contract. Because despite the fact that yeah, he got injured a lot, he was uh, he was their best defenseman too. Oh, there's another Del Zotto. Evander Kane, Renee Bork, there's a Steve Eiserman. Uh, the Opeachy sets recently to try to increase interest will put old players in there. That includes their full their full careers, which is pretty cool. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Boyd Gordon, Mark Mathot, and the throwback is James Neal with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Hey, I got a Mathot though. I like Mark Mathot. He's actually on my team. Oh wait, I got a one one after two between Edmonton and Nashville. I, I just let the game run just as like a fix for my, my hockey needs. Brian McGratton, Roman Polak, Luke Shen, Joel Ward, Carl Haglin, Chris Butler, Lori Karpukowski, and marquee rookies, Daniel Bang. Uh, he came over and uh, was seen as, as potentially a future uh, top nine guy for Nashville. He played really well in Europe. I was upset the Canucks didn't dra didn't pick him up as a free agent just because his name was Bang. I thought that made it awesome. This one also has one of those spacers at the end of the pack. Uh, David Backus, Viltari Philpilla, Marion Hosa, Henrik Lundqvist, Ryan Carter, Dion Phaneuf, Tyson Berry. And the throwback card is Nicholas Backstrom. The Minnesota goalie Nicholas Backstrom, not to be confused, with the forward... Nicholas Backstrom, who plays for Washington and has a C in his name. That one has a K, no C, but it sounds exactly the same. 15.41 left in the third. Edmonton and Nashville are still tied. Carey Price is having a good game. But of course, the goaltending in this game is crap. So. Corey Schneider with the Canucks. Andre Benoit. Who scored points? And if somebody can tell me why Andre Benoit got thrown out of the league, was there was it just his defensive play or what? Like he was a point producer in Ottawa, and then he went to Colorado, and he seemed relatively decent there. Brian Elliott, Anders Lindback. Oh my God, I got Luongo and Schneider in the same pack. That's awesome. And of course, Luongo is with the Canucks. Gabriel Landeskog. Uh, I got a sticker of Jimmy Howard. And then I got a throwback of Mason Raymond. So good Canuck pack. That's a good Canuck pack. That's what that is. That's fantastic. I like Mason Raymond. It's too bad he's a duck now. I kind of choke on that. Kind of sucks. It's like, why, why are you in Anaheim? You shouldn't be in Anaheim. All right, Eric Johnson, Daniel Winnick again. Joe Thornton, P.A. Parento, who is now back with the Islanders. I don't know. Uh, one of the, I think it's the Hockey News has Parento projected to score a lot of points this year because he's back in New York, and they're like, well, he's back with uh, with Tavares, but I don't know about that. Ribeiro, Kari Lettinen, Sean Horkoff, and uh, marquee rookie Drew Shore, who still hasn't been marquee yet, but he's still got time. Oh, good, Modern Family's on. Uh, Carl, Os Carl Osner, Matt Lombardi, Ryan Klo, Justin Williams, Miko Koivu, Jaden Schwartz, James Van Riemsdyk, and marquee rookie, Justin Schultz. Aw, yeah. Kidding. I think he's going to have a good year in Pittsburgh this year, though. I do. Now that he's on a team where he's not expected to be anything, he'll be a better player. 
You get signed to big money and you're expected to be top four and you don't live up to that billing. It's it's tough. Patrick Weirkoch again. Uh, I got a Wayne Gretzky. So there's Gretzky. His stats right up till the end. Uh, Steve Eiserman again. That's a double. Uh, Evgeny Malkin. Boyd Gordon. Stephen Weiss. A sticker of Jerome McGinley. And then a throwback Keaton Ellerby. Who never made it. Nice, nice jersey though. I've already got that Gretzky. I know I've already got that Gretzky. I have to find my set after I'm done with this box. That's going to be the pain in the ass out of it. I got another one of those spacers at the end. Adam Larson, Louis Erickson, Antoine Vermette, Jonas Hiller, Dan Ellis, Sean Couturier, Theron Fleury. Okay, so Theron Fleury's in here. You show them in, in Calgary. I didn't know Theron Fleury was in this set. And uh, the throwback card is Jeff Petrie with the Oilers. He's a pretty good defenseman for Montreal. The Oilers should look at picking one of those guys up. Sorry, I couldn't help that. It's the kind of crap that just comes out normally. I'm not used to having an audience for that kind of stuff. Uh, Brooks Orpik, Joey McDonald. A goalie who wasn't bad, but he wasn't good enough either. Patrick Sharp, Johan Hedberg. Cam Atkinson, David Perron, TJ Oshie, and Mark, he, rookie, uh, Jonathan Huberto. But I don't believe that's his rookie card. I think his rookie card was the year before, World Juniors. Shame. I'll look it up after, but I don't think that's his rookie card. And even if it is, there's, what, five, six different kinds of rookie cards for every player now. Joe Pavelski, Grant Klitsum, Jack Skilly, Justin Abdelkader, Troy Brower, with the Capitals. Michael Grabowski, Paul Martin, and then marquee rookie, Brian Lashoff. This is why I don't get excited when I see people selling sets online that have the rookies in them. They're like, oh, all the rookies. And it's like, yeah, out of all those great rookies that you get. Oh, shit, my team lost 2-1. Oh, well. No goal scoring. Come on, guys. I got you a team that should have at least been able to score goals. Shots were only 50 to 14, so, yeah. Uh, this pack starts with Andre Markov. Uh, Benoit Pouliot, Kyle Clifford, Dan Cleary, Scott Gomez, Brad Boys, a silver parallel, Dan Paillet. With Boston. I like Paye. And marquee rookie Steve Pinizzotto. Both Canucks and Oilers fans can attest to how marquee he is. He had 12 games played that year and 29 penalty minutes. I... <laughs> Alright. This pack, Brent Seabrook, Peter Holland, Duncan Keith, Simon Gagné, Martin Havlat, Matt Duchesne, Brandon Yip, and Marquee Rookie. This is actually pretty cool. Vlad Tarasenko. That is that is a Marquee Rookie. That is the first actual Marquee Rookie that I've seen. Another one of those spacers at the back. Devin Dubnik, another Wayne Gretzky. Ryan Ellis, Evgeny Malkin, so that's a double. Boyd Gordon's a double. Philip Larson's coming back over. Uh, for a sticker, Evander Kane. And throwback card, Ryan Smith. So, yeah, that was his last year. That's kind of cool. I liked Ryan Smith, even though I hated the others as much as I did. Lee Stempniak with Calgary. Jamie Benn. Fantastic. Scott Hartnell. Ryan Whitney. Cody Hodgson, Jack Johnson, Eric Tangrady, and the throwback card is Christian Erhoff. After going to Buffalo, which was a mistake, he should have stayed in Vancouver. I don't understand people do this, you know. You have a career that's middling, you're all right, and you go to one team and you just play fantastic. Then your career ends up going off the rails when you finish your, 
your contract with said team, and you say, you know what, I'm going to make tons and tons of money. Buffalo's offering me 10 years, 40 million. The funniest part was when Christian Erhoff left Vancouver to go to Buffalo, he said, they offer me the best chance at the Stanley Cup. I have the best chance at the Cup in Buffalo. And yeah, that was just that was just embarrassing for him. Clark MacArthur, Milan Lucic, Matt Martin, rocking the ugly Islanders jersey I have now. Uh, Derek Morris, Matt Stajan, Pekka Rene. This is silver throwback, or well, it's not a throwback. This is a silver parallel of Alexi Emelin. And marquee rookie Anthony Peluso. And Jets fans can attest to the fact that I he's not marquee. Fringe rookies. Now, they said fringe rookies. Fringe rookies. Technically rookies would also work for some of these guys. I know it's whatever sells cards. I'm not one of those spacer things at the back. Uh, Alex Ovechkin. Good. Uh, Timonen. Kimo Timonen. Trevor Lewis. Dominic Hasek. So that's another one of those uh, legends that gets thrown in. Uh, Ray Bork. Hell yeah. Hells yeah, Ray Bork. Uh, Marcus Kruger. Uh, sticker. Marion Gabrick with the Blue Jackets. And then throwback is Ben Scrivens with the Leafs. He was goaltender number 65 out of 180 before getting to Frederick Anderson, who was going to save the team and be the savior of the team. Leafs fans, I understand your frustration because Leafs management always seems to be looking for scapegoat. And then, ironically, Scrivens would end up in Edmonton, where there's even more goaltender scapegoats. Well, if we fix our goaltending... Milan Hayduk, TJ Brody, Checklist, Mika Kiprasov, David Jones, Rich Peverly. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is a signature card. See, now this is this is why I videotape myself opening. This is a this is a signature card of Ryan Ellis from Team Canada. So, Team Canada Ryan Ellis, that's going to go in a hard sleeve after I'm done here. Marky Rookies Jamie Alexiak, who was the topic of conversation on my Dallas Stars video earlier today. That that signature card is sweet, honestly. There's a series premiering tonight on FX called You're the Worst. And I don't know, I'm going to try to watch it, but what throws me about it... This is your hockey channel. Why are you talking about television? Stop talking about television. That's your other channel. Well, I can't split the videos in two. We don't care. We don't want to hear about television. Anyways, uh, this, this show is called You're the Worst. And what throws me off in the FX commercials for it is that it might be funny. But the fact that you have to show nudity all the way through the commercial for it tells me there's probably no substance. Hey, I have no problem with naked people on television. I honestly think that a society that says, well, we can show the guy getting his head blown off, but that woman's breasts are offensive. I think there's something backwards there. I do. But if your commercial has to use sex to advertise itself, and it's not Masters of Sex, where I understand it, then I, I have my doubts about whether or not your show's any good. Anyways. Off that tangent, David Leguan, Jay Bo Meester, Justin Falk, the Minnesota Wild Justin Falk, not the Justin Falk that plays in Carolina, Martin St. Louis, Max Talbot, Chad LaRose. Oh, hello. I got a player ring. So basically the idea is you, you crack this out of here and you wear it as like a ring, I guess, on your finger, but it's way too big to, re to be a ring. It's Sidney Crosby, so the rings aren't necessarily really worth anything, but it is Sidney Crosby, so you never know. And Jimmy McGinn, throwback. I did have two boxes of these I bought. Was it two boxes of these I bought? The, the, the hobby boxes. This is my first retail. Retail, you don't get the, the same level of, of quality of inserts. David Backus, Adrian Acoin. Wow, he finished in Columbus. I forget that he finished in Columbus. And wore my jersey. I really want that jersey badly. Uh, Zach Parise, Logan Couture, Barrett Jackman, Danny Heatley, 
a sticker of Tyler Myers, and then a throwback of Brandon Dubinsky. But yeah, so you're the worst. It's supposed to be on at 10 o'clock tonight, and that's Eastern and Pacific. I think I find funny with Modern Family. Don't talk about television. We're not here to what we're here to listen about hockey. Why aren't you talking about hockey? Why are you? We're watching you open hockey cards again. We don't want you to do that. This is the last box, I swear. Jochen Hasht, Eric Johnson, Andre Lokchinov. I got him in the other box too, the 12 13s. Uh, Matt Calvert, Vince LeCavalier, Gustav Nyquist, and a silver. Parallel of Tyler Myers, and then marquee rookie Matt Tennyson. The funny thing about um, Modern Family for me, and I picked this up early, is when they do their casting, the older daughter on the show is a skinny, tiny little girl. The nerdy daughter on the show is not. And I remember thinking... You guys are going to have the same problem that other shows have had. You're going to cast, here's the pretty girl, and here's the nerdy girl. And as they get older, the nerdy girl is going to be way better looking than the pretty girl. And that's what's happened on this show. And it's actually really funny to watch. Because it's like, they'll play it like, oh, she can't get a boyfriend. And it's like, yeah, no, she could. She'd have absolutely, I wasn't in high school that much, that, that long ago. Yeah, she'd have no problem at all finding a boyfriend. None. Zero. Zilch. Oh, glasses? Oh, yeah. No, glasses make her ugly. That's it. That's glasses make her ugly. Sure. You guys are going to have to go a lot further than glasses. And and while the elder the older daughter is pretty, she's a pretty actress. No. No. <laughs> you, you put the two of them next to each other in a public place now? No. Uh, Chris Letang, Douglas Murray, Nicholas Spalling... Corey Perry, John Moore, Patrick Eliash, Ilya Kovalchuk, who was a topic of conversation yesterday, and a throwback of Ryan Getzlaff. So throw it, and off it goes. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. I forget, too, that the boyfriend for the, the older sister on here was the guy who is now doing, like, a lot of movies, and he's on that stupid show. Um... <laughs> I don't. I, I'm trying to remember the name of the show now. Somebody will remember. I just. I know. I hate it. Everybody else likes it, and I just can't stand it. He's in uh, the Mike and Dave need dates or some shit. That shit movie this summer. Uh, Mark Andre. Mark Edward Vlasic. Leave more Vishnovsky. John Michael Lyles. Ryan Kessler. That's many of the Canucks too. And if if you look too, he's looking off to the side. Like he's looking like nobody's hitting me with a stick. You mean I got to work with this puck? I have to do something with it? This was the year too. He only played 17 games. He's a minus five. Two power play goals. He was never the same after that. He really wasn't. Brian Garbett. Alex Goligoski. Brian Boyle. And marquee rookie, Jared Tenorti. Sad. And when I say never the same, it means that, what I mean is that up until then, Ryan Kessler was a guy who could score 35, 40 goals in the season. He was fantastic. And after those injuries, uh, something was just different. It, it was just different in his game. And all the cheap play that he did, I couldn't overlook it anymore. Tom Gilbert, Gilbert, John Tavares, Joe Thornton, P.A. Parento, Alex Edler. Another Kari, Kari Lettinen. A silver parallel of Alashemsky and marquee rookie Michael Caruso. He might score 40 this year. I don't know what league because he's not in the NHL, but he could. He could score 40. Don't ever use your teeth. <laughs> I always tell my son that when I do that. <laughs> don't ever do it. Uh, James Neal, Bobby Ryan. <sighs> Evander Kane. I'm just throwing that one away. That was just... That's just gone. Just... If you want to come to my apartment and get an Evander Kane for a quarter, I'll sell it to you for a quarter. Come on over and I'll just throw it down the stairs at you. Marion Hossa, Henrik Lundqvist, Thomas Fleischman, Mark Mathot again, and Marky Rookie Darcy Kemper. Who, I swear, if that kid ever gets a shot at being a starting goaltender, I think he'll do well. I like Kemper. I do. 
I know I know Dubnik is the feel good story in Minnesota, but I like Kemper. Hopefully he gets his chance to be a, a starter at some point. Saku Koivu, Matthew Perot, Rene Bork, Mike Ribeiro. I know that's a double, so you're going in the shit pile. Tori Mitchell, Mike Green, checklists. I just don't want those cards to make my other cards suck. Nicholas Cronwall's the throwback. I should have a wall of shame. I should. During the season, it would be cool if, if I when I get the backdrop. And I'm getting the backdrop either... I'm debating about whether actually getting a backdrop or just getting a big black sheet. Because it's the same thing. I haven't seen a difference. But I get that sort of a backdrop idea during the season if... if when uh, Rami, Rafi Torres gets suspended, if Carolina uh, signs him, I could do a video based on that and then just have on the wall behind me hockey cards belonging to players that are cheap shot artists and assholes. And the first card. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I did not make that happen. I absolutely... <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. I did not make that happen. Billy Leno, it's another Steve Eiserman, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Patrick Eves, Brian Bickle, Nicholas Jalmerson, and super marky, awesome rookie Michael Krikrenko. I swear, I swear to God, I hadn't. <laughs> Nobody's going to believe me. They're just not. You know, if you're going to conjure something, Shannon, why don't you conjure the girl from your dream last night? Conjure fucking Brad Marsh on. I, I, the dream I had last night, I was living in a, in a trailer with my son and, um, uh, I think my daughter was there too. Anyways, my daughter slept in one bedroom. My son slept in the other. And I think I went to Vegas and I came home with this absolutely gorgeous blonde who was my wife. And, uh, I didn't know her name yet. I realized after we got married that that was probably going to become important. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I talked my son into sleeping on the couch so I could borrow his room and I was basically like you know I'm probably going to need to move you out of your room and my son was running like dad I've seen her I understand like it's fine yeah it was funny but yeah that was the dream I didn't want to wake up from because she was spectacular just spectacular anyways Franz Nielsen, Marcel Gotch, Nathan Horton Jeff Carter, Kyle Brodziak Marion Gabrick, Thomas Focoon, and God, why does Anti Niemi's the throwback? Why is why does it troll me like this? Why? I swear, if there's another Ribeiro or another friggin' Evander Kane, Craig Anderson, Brian Trottier, and it's Trottier when he was with the Islanders. Now that's fantastic. Although you can see the difference in the quality of the photography, and it's kind of off-putting. I can't do it with this camera, it's not going to show, but it, it, is, it is really, really different. Joe Corvo, Tobias Enstrom, Nate Thompson, Brandon Prust. Are you fucking kidding me? And, and Brandon Prust is right on top of Alex Burroughs. Like, people are going to have seizures with packs like that. Uh, and then the marquee rookie is uh, Mike Koska. And I like Costco's. I like Costco a lot. I actually, he's a defenseman that, for a depth defenseman, I wouldn't mind seeing on a team I cheer for. But Marky, in fact, when he was in Toronto, he's one of my favorite Toronto defensemen. He took a lot of flack for, you know, not being very good offensively and yada yada yada. And it's like, well, he's he's good. That's interesting. That's Doug Gilmore, but that's Gilmore playing in the uh, Winter Classic. So this is unlike the other cards that I get where it's a throwback. This is actually a modern day picture. The funny thing with it is, he still looks like he could play in the NHL. I wasn't a Gilmore fan, but other people are. Justin Peters, Checklist, Philip Cuba, Lucas Visa, Kevin Bieksa. And then I got a sticker of Jonathan Quick. And oh yeah, throwback of David Krejci. I love Krejci. Everybody talks about Tyler Sagan being traded by the Bruins. Yeah, bad move being traded. Right. And Tyler Sagan is a center. 
Okay, he plays really well at center in Dallas, correct? With Ben on the wing, right? Top two centers in Boston are Patrice Bergeron and David Krejci. Which one of those two are you bumping to the wing for Tyler Sagan? Can't wait for the comments. Jakob Kindle, Aaron Pulishai, Sheldon Surrey, Brett Hull. And when you show Brett Hull, you show him in Dallas because it's free. He had his, his foot in the crease, and it was fine. It went. It's fine. It's okay. See this? See this? This is a hat that doesn't care the foot's in the crease. This jersey? This jersey is so ugly it doesn't care that the foot's in the crease either. It's a good Dallas day. Tuka Rask. There you go. Brett Hall, Tuka Rask, Casey Sezikis, uh, Clayton Stoner, and then Marky Rookie, Johan Larson. I'm almost at the end, I promise. Another one of those spacers. Mark Latestu, Shane Doan, Matt Molson, Jimmy Howard, Taylor Pyatt. Beautiful eyes. Uh, Shea Weber. I say it every time. Uh, fuck you. Rafi Torres, you go over there with them. You go over there with them. I don't want to see you. And then my throwback is Eric Lindros in Philly. He doesn't look very secure in that. I wonder if he sees Bobby Clark on the phone in that when that picture was taken. Am I getting traded? Am I out of here? Bobby Clark really was a prick to him. And it's it's something, too, because I wasn't a Lindros fan. But, man, some of the stuff Bobby Clark, you know, I remember with Roger Nielsen. When Roger Le Nielsen lost his job, and he's like, well, it's not my fault Roger got cancer. And it's like, whoa, what? What? Michael Botker, Anton Vol Volchenkov. Uh, there's the other Justin Falk, F-A-U-L-K. That's the uh, Carolina version. Destin, Dustin Bufflin. Chris Phillips, who just retired, Tyson Berry, Sean Horkoff, and super murky, awesome, amazing rookie, Cameron Schilling. Not to be confused with Kurt Schilling, the awesome pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, who we're eventually going to catch and destroy the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm just waiting for it. It's too perfect. It's going to happen. And then I'm going to wish I had a baseball channel. Final pack, Riley Smith in Dallas. So this was before he went to Boston. Voltari Philpola again. Gregory Campbell. Brian Campbell. Hey, that's cool. We got Campbell Campbell. Ryan Carter. Dion Phaneuf. Suck it, Phaneuf. Uh, Stefan Weiss. Stephen Weiss, I should say. And then um, Colorado's John Mitchell. My cousin is married to his cousin, I think. It's something like that. Um, when he played in Toronto, they lived in Winnipeg, so they'd get into games and see him, and they met the team and all that stuff. Now he's in Colorado, so they go down to Denver. They're in Edmonton now. Um, it's it's an interesting tale. If I was closer to my cousin, I could probably tell it better. But yeah, so John Mitchell is indirectly related to me. Indirectly? Like, second cousin, I guess? Second cousin? But whatever. Um... <clears throat> He, so when you, so now he can go back and look at like Colorado videos and go, wow, he doesn't talk very nicely about his second cousin. Um, he, he's serviceable as a player. So there's my there's my cards, my set, um, in progress, and <sighs> Rafi Torres, Mike Ribeiro, and Evander Kane. Man, that's a shit show. Just. I mean, you know, Torres just has the crazy eyes. I think what happened was, I think he came up into the league, and he wanted to be a good player. And his first few seasons were decent. Well, not with the Islanders, but, you know, in Buffalo, or Edmonton, sorry, Edmonton. He had the 27 goals one year in Edmonton. He looked fantastic. And then, I guess he looked in the mirror and went, but I have crazy eyes. I have to be crazy. And then he became a prick. Because he played all 82 games in 06, 07, 05, 06. He played 80 games in 03-04. Like, the dirty play wasn't there. He played 83 games. No, oh, no, 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 he didn't. He played 32 in 708, and then 51 the year after with Columbus. He played 80 with the Canucks, but that's deceptive because he got suspended in the playoffs for that stupid hit on Seabrook. I never forgave him for that. Anyways, there you go. That's my second box. That was the fun of opening a second box and also hearing about my 
uh, dreams and my TV stuff. So uh, thank you for, for sticking with this till the end if you made it, and if you didn't, that's fine too. Um, that's it from me for now. This was fun. I love vacation. I wish I had vacation all the time, but I need to have about 5,000 more subs before I could even think about having vacation all the time. So I'm not planning on it anytime soon. Thanks for watching.